But basically, I have three main buckets to how I'm thinking about this. The first is uh, deal financials. Uh, number two is the strategic rationale. And three is risks and alternatives. First on deal financials, I think getting a better understanding of the cost of this is going to be important. So the, the transaction to buy into Intel, looking at like the cash outlay, share price, if for whatever reason there was a, a kind of a, a stock uh, related part of this transaction, looking at that and you know what happens if share prices jump, if news leaks, other kinds of financial and, and advisory costs that would come in, in, into this. Next would be the cash flows, just understanding things like Intel's revenue, the kind of growth trajectory, improvements that NVIDIA could drive if they partnered and just looking at what is the financial upside here. Um, and then lastly, that profitability part, you mentioned a 12% hurdle rate before. So just considering that, how profitable would this deal be? Second bucket, strategic rationale. So it, it's clear that the supply chain, and these, these fabs are gonna be very important. So just really understanding what that looks like and um, how valuable it could be for uh, for NVIDIA to reduce reliance on TSMC as, as their, their manufacturer now. Next in strategic rationale, there's the regulatory aspect, just understanding how this will be perceived. Is that going to be seen more positively because they're collaborating with the market as opposed to just seeing like some kind of domineering monopoly company in the market? And lastly, this, this idea of influence, getting influence over a competitor or company um, understanding what that means for just the, the dynamics within the landscape. And then the last bucket here on risks and alternatives, building on this competition aspect, you know, understanding what it means if Intel was strengthened, what that means for the other competitors and, you know, maybe the, the top kind of three to five in the market, how that's going to be perceived, what competitive reactions are going to be. I think there's an execution risk piece here, just understanding maybe cultural dynamics of the companies. Is that going to be a fit management at Intel? You know, if they've been on the decline, has there been an exodus of, of key talent recently that we should just be aware of and just governance in general, like if we have a minority stake in Intel, what does that mean for the level of influence we would have? And then lastly, if there's other options we might want to consider, like, you know, partnerships or, or a full acquisition.